All right, guys, just doing some late night recording. Uh, welcome back to more Far Cry 6. All the likes greatly appreciated. Trying to be consistent with my videos. I want to like, for this series, I didn't want to have like a dull day or whatever. So thank you guys for all the likes and stuff. You want more of this game quickly or just each and every day till we finish it. Just keep it up. All right, guys, love you. Let's get this. All right, guys, kind of where we left off last time. Uh, Going to go ahead and take down the F and D base, which is right here. It's to give us 300 XP, and then after that, we're going to go either meet Clara or go do the Sundown mission, which I think meeting Clara, since it's level 3, would make more sense than do this one. This one feels like this one feels like the end of their whole entire like thing. I don't know. <laughs> or we could go to the National Zoo. Either way, I'm happy. All right, let's do this first. Appreciate you guys all support. What is this like? What in the world is going on? Oh, it's a gator fight. Oh, wow. I guess I was going to say, good good boy. That gold tooth got him. Good gracious. Was not expecting that. Alright, let's see what this is. This is, just, this is that stuff we need at the base, isn't it? Yeah, uranium. Okay. Alright, we should be fine. All right, so this is... Wait, why did it... Why is the map all the way down there? What in the world? Oh, I guess it was the thing I actually pulled up. It shows the spot for him. I don't really care if they see me. I don't think it actually matters right now anyways. Let me go ahead and mark this. Just so I'll know exactly where I need to go. This shouldn't take too long, I would imagine. What is down there? Oh no, what is down there? Oh, it's just a creek. I was like, what's... Or a little river running through the mountainside right there. Plus 10 for what? It's not like an explosion. <laughs> Alright. Here's the military target. Got a few options here. I can run and gun... I can be quiet. I think you guys already know what I'm about to do here. I'm worried about the helicopter, though. I'm gonna hop through here and just collect everything. Oh, it's perfect. Now, I went ahead and put back on the uh, flamethrower, by the way. I don't know why some of them have like the icon where they can be revived. I'm not trying to get them to be picked up like that. There's the captain. What does this unlock? A lot of doors. Hey, what is this? What we got here? Hold on. Come on, hurry! There's medicine all over this place. Like it seems like for the most part, the. Uh, Take all the enemies. Oh, I saw that the last second, yo. I can't see anything. Um. Well, hang in there, Guapo. All right, that's it. Nice. Very easy start for the video. That reload animation is so smooth. Wanted to get this done because it gives us the most XP out of any activity, right? Oh, no alarm. Oh, you actually get bonus resources. I didn't know that. I didn't really do anything special that way. Um, 
And I'm guessing now that we've got that conquered, we now have a fast travel point, and we got an airdrop spot. Nice. Yo, we can get a helicopter now. Uh, the workbench, I wanted to see something really quick. All right, so we got a shotgun. I Right now, the only thing I'm using is a level four star weapons, whatever you want to call those. Um, none of the other ones really seem to stick out. Sidearms, let's check that out. Because this pistol's really good, but can't really do anything. Like, there's no mods I can put on there for that. I think we're good. Over here. Let me get these two chests and then we'll get out of here. One was right here on the side. Did I get anything? I didn't see anything pop up there. Let's get this other one. 300 XP. We're ranked to five now. Okay. New weapons and gear available. Okay. Very interesting. But well, I'm assuming this is like up under me. Okay, we get the AK-47 from that. Hey, get voila. Get no the other one later on. For you, friend. Only the best voila. Danny, a deserter's dropped word of a convoy that travels the roads near Sirena Bay. Says they're just asking for an ambush. Hey, thanks. Military target revealed. Okay, a convoy. Um, I'll get the other chest later on. I'm not going to worry about it right now. All right, so I guess looking at the actual missions... Let's go meet Clara. Then we can do the sundown thing if you want. Kind of check that out as well. We got a plane we could also use. Let me see. So this should be marked all the way down here. My only worry... Oh, this looks nice. My only worry is... Wait, is this a brand new helicopter? It's not like the other one. There's a lot of stuff below me, too. Yeah, I love this time of day. For this game, I just feel like this... Like, when it's nighttime, you can't appreciate the graphics as much. Probably should have taken the plane in hindsight, but it's all good. We'll kind of cruise over there. Somebody asked me what my favorite thing about this game was so far. Uh, actually, on Twitter, and I was like... Um, I'm trying to think, like... To answer that, it's tough because the combat feels better. It's the first, like... I guess current generation, if you would. This is going to take forever. I just realized that. Uh, and it's glitching in the ground. Am I not supposed to go this way? It is a long... It is a very long ways away. I mean, I guess I am crossing a lot. What is that? Hazardous waste disposal. Okay. I probably... God, it's a long way. But, meet the legends. We'll just get to it. Might take me some time. A plane would have definitely been... A hundred times better, but it's all good. Helicopters aren't that aren't that slow normally. I think it's also maybe it's this certain one. The other one felt a touch faster, or maybe it's just this place is very far away. Hey, my favorite thing about this game so far has definitely been the uh, I guess like the story for it is kind of open ended. I really like that. A lot of cool characters. The combat's fun. I like how you get the amigos early on. There's a lot of side stuff in this game. This game has a lot more uh, extra stuff you can do, like the the fighting game in there. You know, randomly, there's a TV, but we haven't seen like what that's capable of yet. It's obviously like a season pass type thing. Um, doing stuff like this though just kind of makes me appreciate like how much they put into the game. It's like Ghost Recon Wildlands when you first get in the hell out like you get in a heli and go go up in the sky and you can see like the entire game from that spot. It's actually insane. And then on like the other game is like Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I remember when like the game director came to my house and I was like able to Oh no. Hold on, is this entire area that? Uh okay. Part of me thinks maybe if you look at this road right here, maybe you're actually supposed to go around it. So we're going to go back. I'm going to get shot down. If I get shot down, I'll just take a plane. Okay, we're out of the area. I'll follow the circle around. This is perfect. Yeah, I'll just... Because I got the... It's on the edge. 
I just have to go in a circular motion. <laughs> I just can't go straight through. Although I could have wingsuit my way through there. Like, look at this spot down there. Just a random, like, area you can go to. It's not connected to anything else in the game. It's by itself. Looks like it's got a pool or something. I don't know. Yeah, we're getting there. Just gonna take a little extra time. I'm assuming if I drove over here, it would have taken a lot longer. But this is supposed to be like a... Oh, it's... It's double down now. Uh... Okay. I can kind of see now maybe they want you to... Wait, what if I just go take this out? You know? I have a better idea. I'm just gonna go over here and destroy this really quick. Because eventually it's gonna be an issue, you know? Reminds me in, uh... A lot of the Assassin's Creed games, what I like to do when I'm not recording is go through and... You know, get like... All the, uh, synchronization points ready. And there's a plane right here. This is perfect. We got a nice little runway strip right here. As long as I don't die, should be fine. Okay, let's go destroy this. Why is the dog so tanky? What is going on? Nothing matters. Got to be cautious. Yo, oh, there's a lot of people here. I'm gonna die. Maybe not. We'll see. Are they so aggressive? We gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. If there is a way. Ah, they destroyed it. They destroyed the shot, right? One thing about a helicopter in this game is it does so much damage. Almost. I just realized this area is completely closed in. No way out of here. Not gonna be that easy to get away. I'm assuming that they're gonna shoot me right when I come up. They're waiting for me. If I could just get past, because I think now that we have the anti-air thing down, if I can get to the road over here, I could get a car or something to just drive the rest of the way. Hey, there's something attacking me. And there's a heli right there. I'll run for it for a minute. See if I can get out of here. I guess you are supposed to drive over here. I guess it makes more sense that way, right? But at the same time, I was all for just uh, going this route. Go across this really quick. Now, I could fast travel back, get a plane, cut to me getting there. But I want to see like the actual journey to get over here. I feel like it's part of it. Since we only get to ever do this one time, I want to experience it. So. Clara, I'm near Aleste. And history is repeating itself. What do you mean? This is the land where legends are born, Danny. The 67 revolution started in Aleste. 
El Tigre, El Aquimama, Lorenzo, Lobo, they led the guerrillas who overthrew Castillo's father, Gabriel. Libertad is taking you at a full circle. And they know I'm coming to give them the good news? El Tigre is very, very excited. Promise. I wonder to see how fast this goes. Hola. This could prove to be a very quick method Hola. to get there. El Tigre? That's me. You must be that kid Clara mentioned. Libertad's chosen one. I'm not a kid. Of course not. Your baby Tigre. And don't worry. I'll make sure you don't end up one of Benitez's trophies. Who's Benitez? Head of Castillo's Navy, a real sea monster. She likes to hang traitors like fish for all of El Este to see. Pal carajo. Well, I'm in El Este now. I love it. <coughs> all of it. You, uh, have a long night? The rum and coke was flowing last night, baby Tigre. Minus the coke. Been there? I'm sending you some photos. Should help you find us. Is that a crab? Rock? See. It is your card. Call me when you Who get does there. And bring grappling gear. You're going to need it. Now get moving up our mountain. We can't wait to meet you, baby Tigre. All right, should be good. Let me uh. So we are right now. Now we could actually go blow this thing up too. But I feel like I should probably go back this way. Let me turn around. I love the Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon little guy on the dashboard right there. <laughs> All right, you can actually choose that. I want to say it was 4 or 5 like had an option where you could... Uh, hold on. But Danny was saying something. All right, I think we're good. So it's not until after you select it, it shows you exactly where to drive to get there. I'll just follow this method and hopefully, hopefully it works out. We'll see. It, it almost feels like we're not supposed to be over here yet, you know? Because all the other areas in the game, it's like you get on a boat, a character takes you there. This is like, oh my God. This is like the first one that kind of felt like it was just out of nowhere, you know? Clara, guess who just found where all the coffee is made in Yara? It's no joke, Danny. This is where the army forces farmers to give up their harvests or get thrown into the camps. Castillo grows rich from the profits and the people starve. You want to stop it? Take the oil powering the factory. And while you're at it, take the fucking factory too. Gotta admit, this game is huge. Didn't expect the map size to be as big as it is. Definitely bigger than Far Cry 5. I don't know... I don't remember four's map size too much. Hey, El Tigre. I'm at the Crab Rock. Very artistic. Lorenzo's the artist, and we guerrillas are like the crabs. Hard shells? Sharp claws? They fight from the jungle to give birth in the ocean. We fought from the ocean and gave birth to La Revolution. See? Si. I got it. Take the footpath up the mountain, very easy. A guerrilla must be short-footed, like a goat. Goat? I thought we were like a crab. Hello? Venga. Yeah, it says go on foot. Here we go. This could be useful. What can you tell you me? Danny, the army's called in an airdrop. Feel like getting to it first and stealing it? I appreciate it. My grandmother told me if you continue past the waterfall, there's a path leading right to the legends. I feel like the military the stuff in this game legends? is now the new outpost, That's you know? Watch it. Legends? They're still alive? Depends who you ask. My grandmother said she had dinner with Lorenzo just realized this is the first Far Cry I've ever played in 4K as well. Hopefully the videos look good, by the way. I spent a lot of time on editing. And we made it. Looks like the waterfall from El Tigre's photo. Need to get up there. El Tigre. I'm at the waterfall picture. It was taken after a bloody battle. Three days of hiding paid off when a platoon of paratroopers landed. 
landed right in our kill zone. Planning and patience are Garia's best friends. Those a handful of grenades. <laughs> the waterfall ran red that day. You know, with all the blood. From the soldados we killed. Because it was a lot. Yeah, I get it. All right, so a couple photos from this. We got the the rock. Now we got the waterfall. Looks like it's going up, like a shark almost. I see some blue back there. Let me just put this away and try to grapple up, if it'll let me. Um, hold on. Maybe you can't do it from this side. Hmm. Thought it might let you. There's got to be a different way up there, then. If this isn't what you can do, then... Ah, okay, never mind. Got to get a little higher up, then we can grapple. I'm curious where Far Cry goes after this game, you know? This will be easy, he says. Be like a goat, he says. Like, do you guys think we'll ever see, like... I mean, obviously, we'll have a few on this generation. I still see, like, the lines. It's not the video. It's just, like, in the game. Not really sure what, what causes that. so peaceful from up here. Goats. Fucking show-offs. Um... I grab on that. I'm so confused. I don't think it's the smart way. <laughs> Doesn't feel right. Uh... Oh, here we go. Right above me. Why not? That's a big bird. Good gracious. Um, swing this way. Oh wait, no, we can just. Seems like that's right where you're doing it, though. Unless I'm crazy, I don't know. I don't see it popping up yet. I'm, I'm scared to jump on this rock, though. No? Okay. Well, we gotta go up a little more, it looks like. So, let's see. It's just right there above me. Climb this. Didn't even know you could climb this. There we go. And we got a zip line. Okay. Make sure that doesn't take us anywhere else. Baby Tigre. After the war, that path became a famous hiking trail for sweaty tourists. They'd visit our camp, leave their shit everywhere, take photographs of us like we were animals in a zoo. So, we might have accidentally lit a few dynamite sticks and might have accidentally blocked the trail. Then I might have to accidentally unblock it. Exactly! <laughs> I love it! No, I'm trying to keep it. Okay, nice. Stay right there, please. As this game continues to just, like, expand, I'm just more and more impressed, you know? At first, I didn't know how... Like, this has been my... It's crazy. It's, like, my favorite mission all already. And it's just us exploring the side of a mountain, you know? Pardon, let me just... But it's just, like, the view... Oh, my God. It's just, like, the view. Like, you can see everything. For no reason. Huh? 
Definitely has that Tomb Raider kind of vibe to it. There goes nothing. This portion reminds me of Far Cry 4 a lot. I remember it had a lot of like mountain type things in it. Really disappear up here would make an army blind. It's like a shark. We got to scale up, I guess, and then whatever this is. Looking for the shark. How is the air both thick and thin at the same time? I think we actually have to blow this up. Wait, I wonder if you could just... Well, that wouldn't make sense. What about flamethrower? Maybe you can move out of the way, buddy. Look out below. <laughs> it's like, I didn't know. I thought the flames would take a little bit longer, but I guess not. Oh, what is that? Hold on. It must be that hideout down there. I like that we're like we're so far over here. That's the person we're trying to meet right now. Um, but yeah, we got a lot of stuff we got to do back in this other area as well. So. Okay. I'm at the next picture. Let me guess. Guerrillas are like sharks. Deadly predators with knives as sharp as teeth. Actually, that rock just looked like a shark. Who's the one dangling underneath it? That's Lucky Mama. We never knew when the Soldado would find our camp. So we had to secure fast ways up and even faster ways down. Lucky always volunteered to be the first to test the lines. Brave. I hear you're brave, too. Clara told me about you. You know, I also grew up without a mama or papa. And you still became a legend. <laughs> Many guerrillas are orphans, baby Tigre. But it's not our parents who define us. It's our actions. It's like therapy. Okay, it's like the sound doesn't make it. I want to go to the edge of the shark really quick. Anytime I take damage, I get the movement speed buff. Oh, this is cool, man. I wonder, can I do a... Does this game have like a photo mode or anything? Let me see. Probably not. What would it be under? Photo mode. I'm just very curious. Kind of like zoom out. That's very cool, though. I feel like every, uh, every game now has a photo mode. And I, I wonder when that actually started, you know? Maybe it's like an accessibility way to have people share your game on online, you know? Like, look at this picture I just took in this game. It looks so good. It's like free publicity, you know? Or maybe it's just because every game has it and everybody, everybody needs it, you know? <laughs> so, here is the last picture, I think. Yep, this is it. El Tigre, I'm at the statue. Ah, Lobo, the revolutionary, the warrior, and the dear friend. Killed in combat when we stormed Esperanza in 67. Yesterday was the anniversary of his death. That explains the hangover. Every year I drink two bottles of rum. One for me, and one for Lobo. He never lived to see a free Yara. To be honest, neither did I. This is the last pick. Felicidades! You're at the top of the world! Now get down here! You're missing all the fun, baby tigre! Alright. Moment of truth! I like the build-up to this, though. Is the journey getting here... I can only imagine when we... Because we've only met, like... I guess the good characters, you know? Is there anything else up here I can get? Now, this side says to go that way, but can I just do this instead? Hey, let's go. No way. When? Like 
Two years ago. Two years? They can't fucking do that. Arm wrestling? El tigre! What a Danny! What the hell? You're trapped. Death is staring you in the face. What do you do? <laughs> I've been kicking the cojones a thousand times. I haven't felt them since 72. Hey! Never do that again. What? Mi casa su casa, baby tigre. Come on. Me the family. Lucky, my nose is broke again. I'm not your fucking mother. There are people out there who are actually hurt. I am suffering. I easy, mama. Herpes doesn't count. Meet Lorenzo Canseco, poet of the legends. Well, I sense the hot blood of a fighter. And of course, you know Lucky Mama, part of the legends. It's not broken. Really? I felt it go crazy. Berda! Another patient? Oh, looks like La Moral to me. I'm Dani Rojas from Libertà. The new fist of the revolution. No, Clara sent me. Libertà needs the legends on our side, heroes to believe in. To fight another Castillo? He's exactly what Yara deserves. Buena suerte. Sorry, one revolution was enough. Looks like Clara was wrong. Have faith, Danny. They just need to get to know you. Come see me when you get settled, my baby tigre. All right, we did it. Meet the legends. And it's a brand new area where we have like a social space, so that is so sick. Una nueva operación. A chance to slay the lion in his den. Come find me in Esperanza. I'm sending you a picture of the Libertad safe house there. When you get to the Guerrillon lookout, ask about the night shift. The night shift? Okay, Clara. I'm on my way. All right, so what I'll wind up doing in the next video is, since we did get here, oh, we got Dominoes. All right. I want to do this mission, but I'm like, I feel weird we left. Did we leave? Hold on, let's see what all we left over there. Uh, let's see. Claire Garcia, Paradise Lost. Hold on, where is, where is that at? That's like level six. Oh, wow. And that monster's life, really? That seems like such an end of the game type mission, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, since these are like, I guess, level three or rank three, so you can't be, it's like a rank thing in this game. It's not like you, you can't do it. Maybe if you're like rank two, you couldn't do this. I don't know how it actually works, but everything I've done in the game up to this point, like I'm only ranked five and I could do this right now. So I don't think it really holds you back. Um, all right. I wouldn't mind seeing... I want to go like do this sundown mission because I just feel like it's... Kind of a big deal. And I know we just got over here, but this also will kind of tie up. I feel like this area, and it's right there. All right, let's go.